All right, guys, so what I want to do is just show you how the circuit board works on the Falstad website here. So um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through so that you have an idea. All right, so uh, this is what shows up at the beginning. All right, if you click on the screen, you'll notice that I can highlight certain components. This is a wire. This is a capacitor. You'll see down here on the right hand, bottom right hand corner, it'll show you that's a resistor. It's gotten a certain amount of resistance. This is a voltage source. So um, at the beginning, you'll probably want to delete a lot of this stuff. So when you got it highlighted like this right here, I can two finger click it, and then I can just go down to delete, and that's going to delete it. Uh, when you're doing your rectifier, you're not going to want a DC voltage source. So I'm actually going to show you we're going to delete that. So again, two finger click, delete. What I want instead is an AC current. And so if I two finger, you'll notice that there's lots of different um, options here. Okay, you'll notice that active components here has your diode. You're going to need some diodes. You'll see a whole bunch of other stuff there that you have no idea what that is. Don't worry about it. You've got your outputs. There's some various things there that you can, you can play with if you want. You've got your inputs and sources. Um, you can add a AC voltage source, which is what I'm going to do right now. Um, so I clicked on that. Now in order to place it, you go to where you want it to be. So let's say I want it to connect to the beginning of this switch here. So I'm going to click and then I'm just going to drag until I'm done. In this case, let's say I want to connect it to the other wire. So I'll drag until it gets there and then I'll let go. And now you'll notice that, well, because of this capacitor here, nothing's happening, but you can see a little bit of movement. Let, let me just show you if I take out this capacitor here, let's delete it and double two finger click again. I'm just going to add in a wire to connect those two. So we'll just go straight across. You should notice now uh, the electrons are going a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left um, because of the alternating current. Um, you can play around with that, try some different things, uh, figure out how to get basically your current will be flowing backwards and forwards, um, get rid of components, see if you can build your rectifier circuit uh, the way that it's supposed to be. Okay? And uh, other than that, let's see, close the switch. See, now you can see it because the switch, you can see going one way, go the other way. If it's going too fast, you can always change the simulation speed. And so I can move it down one way or the other way. Um, you can change the current speed. Okay, so moving a little bit slower there, but that way I'll be able to hopefully figure out, see now I've got it going the other direction. Right, you want to be able to create a, di a diode rectifier circuit that allows it to just go through the one component. Okay, uh, always going in the same direction. Notice that it gives me green for one direction, red for the other direction. Shows down here the current and, and other things, the information for the components that I've put in here. So anyway, hopefully that's enough of a beginning that you'll be able to get your circuit started. Play around with it. See if you can figure out how you can get the current always flowing one direction through that resistor. All right, later.